What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, we got ourselves some new sleep token, and the song is Alkaline. Now, do I need to do an introduction for this group? Actually, sure, because I think there's some people that still don't know who Sleep Token are. And, uh, well, this is a group that I've known before I started even this reaction channel, and they've they've blown up, man. They've blown up. Very smart marketing, but really good music, too. So, you know, with their new song, Alkaline, I'm expecting some melodramatic alternative metal. Maybe there's not even any metal either. I'm just expecting some really good vocals and atmospheric, just soothing track. Hopefully with a breakdown. We'll find out. But anyway, I think that's all we need for chit chat. So let's fucking do it. Getting a proper music video for this one. There we while, go. Something changes, and she's changing me. This video is badass so far. It's too late for me now. I am altered. There is something beneath. She's not acid, no alkaline. Caught between black and white. Chorus? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, let's talk about chemistry. Ooh. Ooh, this is how this has a great progression so far. Go down or go? Let's go. Woo okay. The layering. The rhythm. Damn. Vessel is fucking them up. Worship. God damn. Okay, that was Sleep Token Alkaline. And uh, yeah, did that surpass my expectations? Actually, yeah, especially in terms of songwriting. I thought this was a really good progression from Sundowning. Anyway, let's go through the pros and cons. So pros. Vessel. His vocals are absolutely mesmerizing. I've said it before that I think he's one of the best vocalists in the metal scene right now and even if it's calling this metal it doesn't seem to be right either sleep token are their their own kind of genre metalheads seem to like them and a lot of that is because the genty kind of instrumentals and the great drumming 
Uh, but yeah, they're, I kind of consider them like alternative metal, I guess. But Vessel's vocals are just amazing, easily one of the best vocalists out there in the scene right now. Um, his voice is just almost, well, it's pretty poppy. Uh, but obviously the range and the falsetto and the vibrato to his voice just adds a lot. <laughs> This guy is really good, obviously, and uh, instrumentation. So I really like the instrumentation in this. Obviously, drumming is really good, too. The drummer has always been amazing since sundowning, and I think Jaws, too. But uh, yeah, so it's always like completely independent from what's going on with the guitar work. So the drumming has its own kind of rhythms and it's very interesting, even though they sync up for the breakdowns and stuff. But there's enough like flair to the drumming that is just always so interesting to listen to. Um, I guess I want to go through the main pro. The main pro is the songwriting and how the song progressed because, you know, Sleep Token, as much as I love their style so much or so far, where their music is kind of like starts off slow and it's like a build up to a breakdown. We kind of got that again here, but I thought it was done a little bit more effectively here and not as predictable. So what I mean by that is like, the, okay, the first verse and chorus didn't have any drumming or anything. It was just pretty like somber and it had the like the keys and the synth with Vessel's vocals. Uh, layering effects too that, you know, until it got into the second verse, that's when the drumming kicked in and stuff. But then they brought the Genty guitars and they haven't done that. I'm trying to think. They don't bring the Genty guitars unless it's like a breakdown, but it had a rhythm to it. And it was like, and Vessel's vocals was still doing the same chorus and the verses with everything else going on to get to a buildup of a gent kind of like breakdown. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't so hard hitting, the breakdowns and not so much shock factor. And I think that's another thing that I, why the songwriting feels a little bit different here. It felt like it had a nice progression from start to finish like that, where say a track for hire, it, it, it's build up and then it jumps and then it goes back down and then jumps right at the end for that massive breakdown instead of going like smooth. If that makes sense, I don't know. I hope my little hand diagram made sense there. But yeah, so Sleep Token, man, they're they're amazing. They truly are. Another pro that I want to mention is the music video. This is definitely a much more high quality music video than we've gone from Sleep Token. They usually just have visualizers. Um, I know the old stuff actually had some good videos like Jaws and stuff, but yeah, I'm glad that these guys are picking up traction, getting a bit more budget towards their music videos. Because yeah, this was engaging seeing Vessel even being more powerful. I don't know what... what just being Vessel being badass. But yeah, let's go through the cons. And my cons for this song, really, I'm trying to think. You know, their progression from start, you know, somber to these breakdowns at the end does get formulaic. But I'm pretty confident that the rest of the CD won't follow this kind of structure. But that is Sleep Token's kind of like uh, formula a little bit. So I'm wondering how much they can differentiate their sound. So it's not really a con towards the song because I think the song was great. I'm trying to think of a con that might happen with Sleep Token's music. But you know what? Sundowning, there was a good amount of variety. So I'm expecting more variety. And yeah, as a first track off the new album. <laughs> I can't wait, man. I can't wait to check out the rest of this album. But yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on Sleep Token Alkaline. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Spice up my life. What'd you guys think of this tune? I'm curious to know. Also, if you got to this point in the video, then I appreciate the shit out of you, man. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.